Welcome to the Sigma Magic software series. In this module, we will be covering process capability analysis. Let's say we want to calculate the capability of the delivery time data where the customer defined upper specification limit as five days. In order to analyze this data, we first need to add the capability analysis worksheet to Excel. So we would click on Sigma Magic and we would select the worksheet for uh, capability analysis. This worksheet can be found under the stats menu. So if you click on process capability analysis, this is going to add a new worksheet for us. It requires some inputs uh, for the analysis. The first one is the data type. Since we are working with delivery time, the data type is going to be uh, continuous. So we're going to select continuous. The lower spec is not defined and the upper spec is defined as five by the customer. The methodology is, uh, we will leave it as auto to let software pick the appropriate methodology for us and the data source is going to be from the spreadsheet so we're going to select spreadsheet data and leave the rest of the information as the default blank so when you click on ok it is going to format the worksheet for us to perform this analysis and the next step is to enter the raw data in uh, the data column so I'm going to copy the data uh, and uh, paste it in uh, Sigma magic so let me copy the delivery time data so we have about 20 data points here and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in the data column I'm going to leave the subgroup ID as blank which is the default and uh, analysis is for delivery time so once you have entered all the required data the next step is to click on compute outputs so when you click on compute outputs Sigma Magic is going to perform the calculations and report out uh, the analysis for us. So when we look at this analysis here, we can see that they summarize the inputs that we have specified for the analysis. It is performing a bunch of assumptions uh, checks for us. First thing it checked is whether the data was normal or not and it found the data was normal and hence it is using the normal process capability analysis. It is cautioning us that there are less than 25 subgroups and we need to use the results with caution and it's also reminding us that the data that we have entered should have come from a stable process and the outputs of the analysis are shown below so it, the process has a mean of 3.4 and a standard deviation of 2.48 days and the process capability index PPK is 0.22 the DPMO uh, is 259,360 and the sigma level is 0.65 the summary of the analysis can also be found at the top so it shows that the overall sigma level is 0.65 and the process capability is worse than the industry average. In addition to this analysis output, it's also come up with a graph. So by looking at this graph, we can see that uh, we have a histogram for the raw data and we have an upper spec limit of 5 and the defects area is shaded in this uh, graph. So this is pretty much all there is uh, for us to do to calculate the process capability using Sigma Magic. Thanks.